Hey, this week I want to show you guys a simple circuit that'll take your 9 volt input and bump it to 18. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before I get started, of course I want to remind you guys to subscribe down below and also hit that bell icon so you get all of my latest content as soon as it arrives. So I've been building DIY guitar pedals for some time now, and every now and again I run across a pedal like this guy here, which has tons of modulation and function generator chips in it, or even something like this, which is a King of Tone clone where my op amps run off of a heightened supply rail, so 18 volts in this case. Now, a lot of the times, if you have one of those DC bricks, you can just plug your pedal into the 18 volt output or 12 volt output, but I don't really like doing that. I like running everything off of nine volts. So today what I'm going to show you is how you can achieve a supply you know, between nine volts and 18 volts with a simple charge pump circuit. So the circuit I'm talking about today is this guy here, and I'll put a better picture of it up here in the corner, but it's essentially a circuit I found shortly after I started building DIY guitar pedals on tag board effects. It's a very small circuit. I think there's only maybe six, or six components in it. Um, and it all circles around this chip here, which is an ICL 7660SCPA. Um, there is some other chips that can do this same thing. If you're familiar with, I think an LT1054 or a MAX1044, they all kind of do this same charge pump voltage doubling that I'm gonna talk about. But for today's uh, discussion, we'll just focus on this 7660 chip. So I could go over every part of the circuit and tell you what it's doing, but really it's quite straightforward. And I think the best way to really see how it works is to take you down to the shop and show you what it looks like when I put it together on a breadboard. So without further ado, let's switch to the shop cam and I'll show you the circuit and we'll learn a little bit about a voltage doubler or charge pump. So we've already talked about this circuit and now I wanna test it on my workbench here. Um, I really just wanna show you how easy it is to make a voltage doubler and you really don't need that many components. There's really just one key component for this. It, it's again, just a quick way to uh, boost your volts from nine volts to approximately 18 volts. So you can supply those pedals that uh, need a little bit more juice. Starting with the components, uh, you really don't need that many. I've got three capacitors here. I've got a 247 microfarad capacitor and a uh, 10 microfarad capacitor. Um, these are all rated for 25 volts, so they'll be good to go with the, um, with the 18 volt uh, supply we're creating. Other than that, I've just got two Shockey diodes and these are both the 5817. You can use pretty much any type of shocky diode. I just had a couple of these lying around. And finally, which is probably the main component here, and I'm not sure if I can get this to focus, but it is a ICL 7660S CPA chip. Make sure when you're purchasing these, you get the S version. If you don't get the S version, it's not going to be rated for audio electronics and you're going to end up getting a little bit of whine coming out over your signal. You don't want that. It's basically a high frequency pitch. I've run into it before, bought the wrong chips. You don't want to go that way. So with that, let's get started on my board. Um, if you're not familiar with my board, I'll link a video where I go over it. But essentially, I've got this all pre-wired in underneath. This is a nine volt supply and this is ground. And these two here would be my input output if I was doing an effect, not doing it in this case. So we're really just gonna be using the nine volt in and the ground. So first let's place our chip somewhere in the center here. And then what we're going to wanna to do is take our nine volts and map it here, which is what is labeled as the boost. We also have a nine volt going to the fifth pin as well, or should sorry, the eighth pin. And this is our V plus. Off the nine volt, we're also going to get a 47 microfarad capacitor going to ground. So I'm just going to put this guy in here So nine volts to my capacitor. And then I'm going to 
have a ground wire and the negative polarity of your capacitor is of course going to go to ground. Some other grounds that we have while we're working on them, uh, we want to ground the fifth and third pin of this. So let's ground the third pin, which is here. And let's ground the fifth pin, which is here. Now in this scenario, pins six and, six and seven are not gonna be used, nor is pin four. Now, out of the nine volts, we're gonna use our shocky diodes. So, anode to cathode, we're gonna come out of nine volts. And cathode to anode. So, here we're gonna actually come down Again, and I'm gonna actually move this up just because I see it's gonna be easier in the future. Leave that here. And this is going to be our output. Now off that output, we also need to put a capacitor. So we've got our another 47 microfarad capacitor. This again is going to go to ground. So let's do this here like this. Negative is gonna go to ground. So I'll pipe that guy. ground and sorry for the rat's nest it's getting a little bit hard to see and the final piece here is uh, in between these two diodes we're actually going to put our 10 microfarad capacitor with the it's going to be the positive side touching the connection of those two diodes and we're going to map the negative side over to pin 2 which is the cap plus pin. And that's the circuit. So uh, without further ado, let's plug this in, make sure we got power. You can see my lights on and let's give this a test. So I've got my multimeter here. Let me just get it stood up. I can get this so there we go and it's set to 20 volts I'll turn this on and the first thing we can do is check to make sure the 9 volts is working correctly I'll try to get this I'll get my hands in here so we're at about 9.08 volts being fed in and if we look at the output up here we get about double that at 17.86. So that will definitely do for an 18 volt supply. So the circuit checks out. The next thing to do is now solder it so we can use it in one of our effects pedals.
So we're back from the breadboard and the soldering and I've got my uh, voltage doubler or charge pump all configured here. Um, you can see it's pretty small, it's pretty thin. I can usually fit these into a, you know, a 1590B case. I just place it underneath the, the foot stomp switch where I have a little bit of extra room and I can power uh, any pedal that needs 18 volts. Uh, instead of plugging an 18 volt supply, I can just tuck this in under there built right into the pedal. A couple things I want to discuss before I end the video. Um, the first thing is, uh, you know, a slight variation that you can do with this, which I've done to this guy as well. Um, this has four uh, leads coming off it. So you have your input voltage and your output voltage, which in this case is going to be uh, nine volts and 18 volts for the, you know, the, the case I'm using it for. And I also have two grounds, this black and white lead. And what that is, is it's really just decoupling the grounds from the 18 volt supply and the nine volt supply. And sometimes that will help you reduce noise in your signal. Um, the easiest way to do that is you're just going to remove that coupling cable that was shown in the uh, tag board effects diagram that I put up earlier between the third pin and the fifth pin. The other thing to note is this is a voltage doubler. So although I'm using this commonly for nine volts to 18 volts, I could put in 12 volts potentially and get this up to 24 volts, which because all of my capacitors are rated for 25 volts, I don't have to worry about that. So this will work essentially with a 12 volt supply as well. Um, also something that is quick to touch on, you know, sometimes you don't need uh, 18 volts, you need 12 volts or 16 volts or something along that line. Um, by just adding another uh, row or column depending on how I have this oriented to the uh, to the diagram that was seen in tag board effects you can put a little voltage regulator in there you know those TO92 type chips and you know buck that 18 volt output down to you know 12 16 whatever you need that's in that uh, area between 9 volts and uh, 18 volts so that's it for today again just remind you guys to subscribe like and also hit that bell icon for notifications and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.